Okay, so number seven, we are given again on the same exercise six that um, A, B, C, D, and D, they lie on the circumference, which is on the circle. From A to B to C to D, these are on the circle. That's a cyclic quad literal that you're given. Then also P, C, Q is a tangent. E is the midpoint of A, C. So this point E is the midpoint of AC uh, where a line is being drawn from the center like this. There is a theorem there that we can also talk about. Okay. Then we are given the angles. That is angle A2 is 18 degrees and C1 is 43 degrees. So this angle here is going to be 43 degrees. Uh, A2, this is the angle A2, this part of A2 here is 18 uh, degrees. So this is actually 18. Let me just try and write it here inside, but that is 18 degrees there. So O is the center of the circle. Determine on 7.1, the size of 7.11 angle A3. So A3, that is this one, A3, this one. So if you were to consider this, you're going to see that angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. The chord CD, this chord, it subtends the wall of this angle at A, the wall of A, everything at A. So that is the combination of A2 and A3 together. They are supposed to give us the 43. So to find A3 remaining because A2 plus A3 is supposed to give us 43 degrees. So what does it mean? It means A3 that is simply going to be 43 degrees minus this other part that you're given at A, which is 18 degrees. So 43 uh, minus 18 was going to give us 25 degrees. So A3 was going to be 25 degrees uh, from the tan chord uh, theorem. All right, a tangent and a chord angle between. C3, uh, that is our C3, this one, C3. Uh, remembering that there are so many ways the, the, that you can use, but here it was a little bit direct to, to say from the point O to A, that's a radius. From point O to C, that's a radius. Remember the condition of a radius, that a radius, if we have this, they're, they're, they're the same. So this OE is opposite to 18. AO is opposite to C3. Remember that angles opposite equal sides, they are also equal. So it means this is 18 degrees. Our angle C3 is the same as our angle uh, A2 that we had given before. And our A2 was 18 degrees. AOC from A to O to C, we are talking about the wall of this angle here. Considering angles in a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees. So it is going to be 180 minus 18 plus 18. We subtract this 18 and this 18 from 180 angles in a triangle. Angles in a triangle. That is your reason there. So that was going to be 144 degrees. So the wall of this uh, a or C, which is actually our O2, is going to be 144 degrees. Angle D, the angle D is this angle at the circumference. Considering the chord AC, it subtends angle at the, circum at the center there at O2. The same chord AC subtends an angle at the circumference at D. Remembering that the angle at the center is twice that one at the circumference. So if I'm given the one at the center, how do I find the one at the circumference? I divide by, by two. So that's going to be 72 degrees from angle at the center. All right. PCA from P to C. To A, we are referring to the wall of this angle here. That's an angle between a tangent and a chord, which is the chord AC. The chord AC subtends an angle at D in the opposite segment. And remember, 
we calculated the angle at D and this was 72 degrees. It is the same thing or the same angle as PCA that is going to be uh, 72 degrees. We are simply talking about angle between a tangent and a chord. So you can just say that as tan chord, angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to angle in the alternate segment. A, B, C, this is our angle A, B, C. From A to B to C, we are referring to the wall of this angle combined. A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. All the vertices are on the circle. So we know that for a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary. So if they are supplementary, it means this is going to be 180 minus 72 degrees. They are supplementary. So that's 180 minus 72 degrees, which is 108 uh, degrees. We're talking about opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So that was how we're supposed to attempt this typical question Prove that O1 is equal to O2. Angle O1 is equal to angle O2. All right, when I was saying O2 there, I was actually mistaken because this is combined. Okay, you see the way that I indicated there, guys. The O2 is the this one, or they did not indicate. So the O2 is this one, and this is our O1. Remember the wall of this angle before, it was 144 degrees, all right? So how can we prove this? All right, to prove this, we are going to see that uh, a line, if it is drawn from the center and bisecting a chord, it is not just normal. This cannot just happen. It bisects this chord, we know, but also at 90 degrees. Remember, a line drawn from the center, a line... Uh, drawn from the center. A line drawn from the center uh, bisects. So this one, it bisects the chord, bisects the chord at 90 degrees. So if it bisects the chord at 90 degrees, it means this is 90, this is 90. So that means O1 Actually, these two triangles, they are concurrent. If you can take it from there, you can take their concurrent triangles, or you can actually calculate your angles. Angle O1, uh, this will be our angle O1. Uh, from 180 degrees angles in a triangle, it's going to be 180 minus the 90 degrees on this end, and also there's 18 uh, degrees at A2. So if you were to subtract this, you are going to obtain uh, angle O1, which is 72 degrees all right, with the same calculation, so this one, we talk about angles in a triangle adding up to 180 degrees. With the same concept, you're going to see that also angle O2 was going to be 180 degrees minus because it's a triangle, this one. It's a triangle from OEC. OEC is a triangle, so it's going to be 180 minus, remember, A, there it's 90 degrees, and this angle C, Three is 18 degrees. So it's just a repetition as we can see. So it's gonna be uh, 72 degrees. So we can see that these two angles are the same. Angle O1 is equal to angle O2. These two angles, they are the same. All right, determine the size of C5, angle C5. Determine the size of angle C5. Angle C5, where is it situated or located? That is the question. Where are we going to have this? Where, where is this angle situated, located? Uh, let us consider this quickly. You're going to see that there is something that was just hidden here, uh, 7.3. This is our C5, this one, this one here. Remember, we calculated the wall of this angle combined, the wall of this angle ACP, we have it. So the question is now, how can we have C5? This one, this C5 here. If you are to consider, we, we, we said this is a, a, a 90 degrees from O to C to P, all right? That's a 90 degrees. Uh, o, C, P is equal to 90 degrees. There we are talking about the condition, what, what happens between a radius and what? And a tangent. A radius and a tangent, they meet at 90 degrees. So the wall of this angle, we know that it's 90 degrees. 
we have got angle C3. We do not have angle C4. This one, we do not have angle C4. We do not have this, or we can consider this way. If you do not want to take the 90, this one, if you do not want to take uh, this C4, you can consider the wall of this one. Let me just take the wall of this so that I do not confuse you guys. If I work with a lot of uh, angles, you end up having a confusion. So let me work with this one alone, uh, this, this condition. From O to B to C, like this is a triangle, this one which is taken from the center. So if it is taken from the center, it means OB is a radius. OC is also a radius. So this tells us that the opposite angles from this, they are supposed to be the same. These angles that are opposite these sides. So angle B2 is equal to, so you're going to see that angle B2 is equal to angle OCB. Angle OCB. There we are talking about angles opposite equal sides. They are opposite equal sides. So they are the same. So if they are the same and we know that O2, we calculated, remember O2 and O1 are the same. We said this is 72. So it means we can calculate this uh, from 180 degrees minus the 72 degrees at O2. Then we divide by two since they are equal. We have to divide by, by two. So this was going to give us a 54 degrees. So if B2 is 54, OCB is also 54. The wall of this angle here, OCB, is also uh, 54 degrees. What will be the angle C5? You're going to see that angle C5 is going to be the difference because we say there's a 90 degrees there, the wall of this O to C to P. It's 90 degrees. So if we subtract the 54 degrees that is inside of the triangle, this one, we are remaining with C5. So that is 90 minus 54. And that was going to give us a 36 degrees at the end. So this is how you can play around with your theorems. It's all about the theorems there. So more questions like this uh, to come. As we are revising towards our examinations, let us consider as much questions as we can so that we prepare for our exams, which are ahead of time. But for now, that's it till we meet again.